Welcome back everyone to another Two Minute Tuesday and this should stay in two minutes. Okay, so this is a, a utility for the Mac. It's to keep your system running really spot on and I've used it for probably the last four or five years. It's, I've had no hassles at all with it. Um, and I've had no hassles with my Mac more importantly. So this is it, it's Clean My Mac X. Um, I think that's, yeah, anyway, it's been around for a while. They've got a very simple interface. You just click to start the scan and it will go through and it will scan looking for stuff that's unnecessary in your system. Um, it looks for threats as well. So any malware or anything else that you might have on there. And then it looks at the running speed of your Mac and what apps and memory it can free up. And I've actually used this quite successfully when my system's been running low on memory. Not this Mac, probably the Mac before, because this one's got a hell of a lot of memory. So I don't tend to get that issue. But it's just freed up stuff really, really quickly. And here we go. We can see onto this, it wants to clean up 1.18. And then you can just click run and it goes and does it. I can go in and remove mail attachments, trash bins. Yeah, just empty your trash bins. Malware removal, and that's actually found quite a few threats over the years and removed it for me, and it will run real time as well. Privacy, remove all your traces. So when you're visiting those dodgy sites, you know, it's just going to get rid of it for you. Um, optimization. So the thing I like about this is that I can go in and edit my launch items even more so than I can from system settings. So that's really, really good. Um, maintenance in here, a few little bits of rebuilding spotlight index. I've had to do that once when my spotlight absolutely messed up um, and that resorted all that out as well. Repair disk permissions and everything else. Well, that's, I can do that with disk util, but it's all in here anyway. Um, time machine, snapshot thinning. That's quite useful. I don't need it because I've got a large time machine and it just backs up and it's fine, but you might not have, and it's good for that. Um, an installer. Now I do use this quite often. I quite often install software, try it, and you always find that it leaves a remnant. Even on a Mac, it leaves little folders here, there, and everywhere. This gets around that fact. And if you tell it to an install rather than you uninstalling it yourself, it does, it gets rid of everything, and it's really, really good at that. Um, updater, yeah, so you've got a few bits there that you can update, which is quite nice, and I didn't realize I needed a new Final Cut Library Manager, so that's good. Um, I don't always update from here. So quite often I go to the program itself, but it's nice to see programs that I don't use every day. Oh, actually, I need to upgrade that. That's really good. Um, extensions. It allows you to remove or disable extensions really easily. So if you go into there, you've got spotlight plugins and everything else into there. I don't have a lot into here. I've got a few in the preferences panes that I use and I want them there, um, but that's it really. So here we have Space Lens. Now this is fantastic. Do you ever wonder where all your space goes? Well, this works it all out for you. And it just lets you go down and you can see that I've used one point seven terabytes worth of data into that and then you can go into that one and work it out but you can find little nuggets like how have i used 24 gig in that and it's it turns out it's the library file and you go, oh well that's fine that's okay so that's really good for that large and older files it will work out where all your large files are um which is great and it can just go through and find them and just show you and you go yeah no i'm happy with that there that's that's not a problem or yeah i need to get rid of that and Shredder is just erase sensitive data. You know where it goes over it several times, um, with ones and zeros and everything else. Can't say I use that in particular. But that's it. So it's a really simple program that does a lot. And I've, I'd say I've used it for several years. I think it's really neat. It sorts a lot of my problems out um, and keeps my system running. And it might just do the same for you. Hope that helps. Got any suggestions for another one? Put them in the comments down below and um, like and subscribe to see for future ones. Love to see you here. Have a good one. Get a